What are some tips for someone with no fighting experience to win in a fight? Also blading, where they try to turn a side of their body toward you instead of facing head on. Another is if they start repeating something they just said over and over, it's a sign they already decided to attack. Ain't nobody gonna step to me. Ain't nobody gonna step to me. Ain't nobody gonna step to me. Their brain is in fight mode, which puts things like speech on the back burner, and they are just looking for the shot to take. This guy fights. That blading shit in no kidding. Same for the repeat mode. Pupils all black as they take everything in, staring slightly off. Time to get ready to counter hard. I think the biggest problem for people with no experience is that they have no experience with inflicting harm, and thus instinctively only hit symbolically. I once had to disassemble an old cupboard, and I kept kicking at it, and it wouldn't go down. When I realized my kicks were afraid of doing damage or hurting myself, and I have to commit and go all in, and try to kick through the boards, that's when I immediately got the thing collapsing. And here we are folks, you don't try to punch a man in the fact, you try to punch his face through the back of his head. Make the back of his skull your imaginary target. You hit him in the face, his head will snap a little, and he might stagger. You punch through his face that son of a bitch is going down. I had a friend in high school that thought he could win any fight, if he went for the balls. Well, he got in a fight, and went for the balls. Except, the other dude was jacked on adrenaline, and beat the shit out of him anyways. This right here. We were sparring during a belt test, and I snap kicked this guy, to create some distance between us. He dodged sideways and I kicked him about a square off in the nuts as you can, hard. He backed off, breathed in, popped himself in the forehead with his gloves and said, good shot, dude, and came back at me. Didn't phase him. Though before you pick up a beer bottle or other improvised weapon, remember there might be some rules that come into play in the aftermath of a fight. For instance manslaughter. Edit. TL. Doctor, since I'm getting a lot of responses in this direction, you lose the right to self-defense if you're the one that escalates from non-lethal force to lethal with a weapon. The person you escalated against has it for as long as lethal force is in play. Edit 2. This includes a right to defend against reasonable fear of lethal force. Footwork is important. Stand so that a punch won't knock you over. Don't lean into a punch. Also know what advantage you have over your opponent. If he's bigger than you, try to move to the side or behind him. Moving's harder for him so make him move. If he's taller, get in close so his reach advantage is taken away. If he's lactose intolerant, throw milk at him. Brother, you told them my one weakness, milk. If there's no way to avoid it, try to keep a low center of balance, and make sure to keep your feet on the ground. Don't kick or anything. Once you lose your balance and you're on the ground, it's over. Edit, yes, apparently everyone and their brother has J.I. Jitsu training. The question literally says for people with no fighting skills. If you do go down, bring them with you. But generally, try to keep your balance. Never use haymakers, hooks, and football kicks, they're stupid and will get you beat real fast. The trick is straight punches using your hip, to throw your arm a bit more. Try to get in close, so the aforementioned kicks and haymakers won't be able to get enough power in. Keep your hands up, if you have to dodge go sideways instead of back, so you keep the distance advantage, but either way don't get in a fight in the first place. This is the advice you want to listen to right here. Don't try to emulate Mike Tyson and end the fight with one haymaker, you'll fail. Keep it simple. A straight jab to the nose will make your opponent's eyes tear up, and can tip the scales in your favor. This. Any moderately trained person will know how to either dodge, or get under a haymaker's hook. On the other hand, only well trained MMA athletes, boxers, or martial arts masters will know how to counter a simple straight punch in a way that will knock you out. Most likely they will just retreat, and give you more space to run away. Don't kick at all, stay on your feet, unless you do something like wrestling, or J.I. Jitsu where, even if you fall you can probably beat them. Kicking's fine for sparring, because once you're down your opponent, can't and won't try to kick you. There are no rules in real life. Just to add on, if you have no fight training, the best stance to block against punches is hands on top of your forehead near your temples. So you don't block your eyesight, elbows out, punch coming from the side, 
throw that elbow out, they may connect with it, and break their hand, or at the least, deflect the brunt of the attack away from your rear slash jaw. Punch coming from straight ahead, close up those arms. Again, the punch could connect with your elbow, or at the very least, protect your nose slash eyes. Obviously this will only work for a few attacks, before they start going for other body parts or kicking, but the point is to defend yourself long enough to get out of the situation. If you have to fight back, this is also a really good stance for landing straight jabs. This. I've seen tough guys shatter wrists and fingers, because they thought they were hot shit, and punched a back poorly. Go with slaps, if you don't know how to throw a punch, they hurt just as much, and won't hurt you as badly I've been boxing for a year and a half and still hurt my wrists on the bag on occasion. Slaps are definition good advice, if someone hasn't learned how to punch properly. You want to keep your wrist straight, no twisted wrist, you twist your body, to keep your wrist straight, there is a lot of things that happen, when you punch someone, and you need it to all line up perfect. Think about having a stack of 3 cans, now try to tip the cans and hit the wall with the top of the can so the other two stay there with the pressure you are applying, if that makes sense. Tough to do, but with practice you could do it every time. That what it's like to learn how to throw a perfect punch. This. I don't think people realize how dangerous fighting is. Most people don't know when to stop, especially in a fit of rage. All it takes is the right hit or fall to have serious lifelong damage. Happened to a kid I went to school with. Only got hit three times. Third one knocked him out and his head smacked the pavement. Died from brain hemorrhage. Yep. I testified in a murder trial of a guy who killed his brother like this fighting over a girl in a parking lot at 2am. One punch and he hit the ground. Game over. Insanely sad. I cringe every time I see videos on here that indicate massive head trauma. We are really such fragile beings. Little late to the party, but figured I'll chime in. I'm a black belt in BJJ, have several years of judo and Muay Thai experience as well. I've taught many self-defense classes and women's self-defense seminars. The best advice I can give you is this, run. If you can't run, you have to accept you will get hit and likely injured. Keep as much distance as you can with the intent to separate from your opponent and run. If they get their hands on you, attack as quickly and as violently as you can until you can, you guessed it, run. There is no winning a street fight. Only who comes out less injured. Barring extreme self-defense situations, it's simply not worth it. If you don't know where the punch is going to land don't throw it. Fighting is 80% cardio, if you don't have it conserve your energy. Understand the difference between sparring and a fight. If you spar with someone there are rules. If a drunk guy on the street jumps you, you can't guarantee he'll stop when you go down. So you better fight dirty. You're gonna hear a lot of feedback here, but the truth is, as soon as you pull your hand to throw a punch the person will almost 100% of the time move their head. And then if you don't know how to fight you'll just be relying on reflexes and instincts and anyone with even the slightest fight training will probably win the fight. Best advice I could give is if you're face to face with someone and you want to incapacitate them, headbutt them in the nose. They will not expect it and only you will be bracing for the impact. You can even grab their wrist slash arms beforehand to keep them from pushing you away before you deliver the blow. Follow it up with a knee slash kick to the balls. Some say it's bad form in a fight, but if you don't see any referees around then there are no rules, especially if you don't know how to fight. Put them down, and walk the other direction. Most of the tips I'm seeing are terrible. The best tip is this, most people cannot fight, and are very unfit, and will blow their energy budget in the first 15 seconds, while trying to knock you out, using a series of ineffective haymakers in quick succession. Simply use a combination of covering up and protecting your head while simultaneous trying to make for a hard to hit, moving target. In around 15 to 20 secs their energy budget will be expended. You will have about 90% of your energy budget left. You can then basically do whatever you want. Source, being on the receiving end of dozens of assaults, street fights, and too much martial arts training. Bouncer, tournament fighter, Kyokushin infantry boxing program etc. The strongest muscle, and the only muscle you should use to stop slash prevent a fight, is your tongue. 
use your words, and prevent the fight from happening. Let's pretend that failed, this person really wants to fight you. Winning a fight, to me, is just stopping the fight from continuing any further. Whether that means you say, hey man let's stop this okay, or you have to get violent. If it becomes violent, my best advice is never punch what you're aiming for, punch behind it. Don't punch the face, let your fist go through and punch the back of their head. If you want to make it weird and possibly stop the fight, you could just start masturbating and scream, come at me daddy. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you would like to see more, feel free to subscribe.